It has been said, and so it must be true, that hermits make great teachers. And there was a hermit once in Cambodia that was the teacher of a water goddess, Moni Makala, and a giant, Reem Iso. And these two students learnt with him until he had taught them everything he could. But he still didn't know which was the best student. So he set them a task. He gave them each a glass. Go out, he said, and fill it with morning dew. The first one to come back with a glass filled with morning dew will win a great prize. The magic ball. So Moni Makala and Reem Iso went off. And Reem Iso scratched his head and he pulled his beard and he thought and thought and thought until he came up with an idea. As the sun was creeping over the horizon, he went into the forest. And there, on the leaves, were little droplets of dew. And he collected them and drip by drip, he filled his glass. Now Moni Makala, when the sun was just bobbing up above the horizon, woke up and stretched. And she leaned over to her left where the night before she had laid a cloth. She picked up the cloth and she squeezed it into her glass. And within seconds, the glass filled with morning dew water. And she took it to her hermit teacher and she won the magic ball. As the sun was halfway through its ascent into the sky, Reem Iso returned with his glass of morning dew. But he was too late. As a consolation prize, his teacher gave him a magic axe. But Reem Iso didn't want a magic axe. Reem Iso wanted a magic ball. He looked around for Moni Makala, and when he saw her, he threw his axe at her. It went streaming past her and hit the ground, and with a rumbling roar, the ground shook. Moni Makala began to run, and as she did, she threw her ball into the air, and it lit up the whole sky. Reem Iso plucked his axe from the ground and continued to chase, and this went on and on and on. And the Cambodians that were watching from the ground looked up at the sky and saw the light and heard the thundering roar and called it thunder and lightning.